Oh hi, it's Bukai, and welcome back to another video for my solo Let's Play challenge for Eidolon. And again, my internet's still not fixed, so unfortunately I'm having to record this stuff after the fact. Um, yeah, so I've been grinding on crab cakes all night and all day long on there, and as you can see, I breached 91,000. So close. It's basically going to be tomorrow by the time I get the good old-fashioned, whatchamacallit, Zao stack. That's the word on there. And I'm kind of going through my food and my inventory on there to figuring out what's better to equip. And I kind of realized that, ah, it's just better off to swap the manas for more mana, especially if I've got long AFK times now, because, well, there's not really much I can do just simply because I... I just don't have stable enough internet to stay on. Now, I can keep this order streak going on the dudes next door, but I've got to wait for the potty rolls and the iron hatchet. It's still not done, not ready for it to flick over, but is what she is on there. And yeah, I realize I'm, again, not on dice three, and you got to switch over. So looking at the alchemy on here now, uh, yeah, I still haven't learned my lesson. I keep hitting the gamble button and not succeeding. I did go to the pay, uh, the pay to win section and I did boost the new bubble chance. So I have been dumping my money in there. It's just a matter of, it doesn't go up by much because at level 35, I've still only got a 12% chance. I will eventually roll properly. Like I've rolled more than 10 times. I should have statistically gotten it by now, but you know, I haven't yet. And it's just a matter of time. I will... Keep going until I get it, because during the Shaccuracy one is so important. It will open up so many points on my character on there that I just, I have to get it. Now here I'm just showing off my statues as well as depositing the ones that I have. So my fishing level is starting to go up. We're up to statue level two. And, you know, the others are at a decent position on there. It's hard to get statues when you're on a solo account and you're not really on a complete active account but you know it is what it is like the best way to farm statues is to just keep killing crystal still whatchamacallit carrots or crystal you know, crystal crabbles or whatever they call them on there you kill those things on there and you get a decent decent chunk of uh, of those good old-fashioned statues on there and then there's you know some resources that get you statues and whatnot so it's time to go back to the crab cakes on here and I'm going to do a cut because during I do come back in this video. So I will see you guys in a bit. All right, there we go. So I have been back considering I left this AFK for about two, almost three hours on there. Now, the reason why I did is because considering I was just editing some videos and changing up on the YouTube channel. So I'm still connected to the internet. Um, you know, thinking back, I probably should have just left it active, which... I end up doing now. So a lot of this footage that you're going to be seeing in the background is just me actively murdering a bunch of good old crap cakes, because considering why not? Uh, I always forget to do that before I record. I find it funny. <laughs> but yeah, the reason why I'm going to be AFKing or not AFK, but yes, actually AFKing and actively killing all of these crab cakes and all the monsters up to 100,000 is because during, there's a skill called Apocalypse Zao. Which, if you kill over 100,000 of a mob, and you can track how many you've killed by looking at the, at the card's card, what happens is you gain a, it starts off as like a 2% increase per monster that you get. But if I recall, it scales all the way up until 6% on there. So the more stacks you have on there, the Barbarian starts becoming an insane damage dealer. So... Because I'm kind of limited hard on how much I can pump up my alchemy and the stamps are also going to be a little difficult to gather, I figured that, you know, the best strategy is probably actually to be building up my Zao stacks on my Barbarian to start to increase its damage. Simply because considering I'm not going to have enough of the resources to keep sinking into the alchemy, to keep sinking into the, well, into everything on there. It's just not going to be plausible it's just not going to be possible for me to continuously to continuously dump like that so but if you guys can think of a better way or if i'm you know just not being smart on this just let me know in the comments below because considering 
I'm genuinely curious what the best solution and course of action is here. I'm going to be basically sitting on these crab cakes until I reach the 100,000, and I think I also am sitting here until I get like, I think it's like three nougat cakes or something like that I sat there and got. Active play is just significantly better than AFK and the amount that you get, but I'm not 100% sure if that was before I decided to start recording it or after I stopped recording it because it was going on for too long. So looking back, I'm not 100% sure. And Oh, there's the first crabble on there, and I think this guy might act... One of these guys kills me eventually on there. I can't remember which one, but I think one of them does eventually. Yeah, 24 damage on there, and I don't have food equipped, so I think one of them does, but it's not this guy. This guy I managed to kill on there, because I do have the actual damage. But yeah, I clearly got to up my accuracy, considering... I think these guys are, what is it, one and a half times the accuracy of the mob required to hit and kill. And, oh nice, a Crystallin on there. Too bad I think I've done that quest, and I get like three of them, so I just end up merching. But yeah, as you can see, statues are dropping now, so... That's why how the best way to get your actual statues, especially your movement speed, is to just continuously actively kill the good old-fashioned crystal mobs. Now, the best way to farm crystal mobs isn't on a solo character, it's on a, or if you are a solo character, a solo journeyman. A solo journeyman played actively will get a ton of statues and will probably have a very good boost on there just simply because considering a crystal mob can gain or a journeyman can see crystal mobs like it's nothing. Yeah, so I've got this thing basically tabbed out in the background as I'm working on my YouTube video. That's why the mouse is just standing still. I should have just thrown the mouse to the bottom, and yes, it is bothering me as much as it is bothering you guys on there. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm a feel like I'm a middle school teacher on there playing a movie, and you got like Braveheart playing in the background or The Patriot, and then all of a sudden, a, uh, you've got like he just leaves the mouse in the middle of the screen and you're just trying to watch it but you just keep staring at the bloody mouse and yeah that's a story that actually happened and that it happened in history class that's why it sticks in my mind and why the patriot was in my mind <sighs> move the damn mouse i think yeah i leave the mouse in the middle of the screen again i don't think <laughs> i'm just laughing at myself like you know it bothers you you know it bothers people that watch, but you didn't move the bloody mouse. I promise to try to fix that and like next time on there and whatnot. I don't plan to be doing the let's just leave this thing running on crab cakes forever type thing, but well, unless people, people enjoy this style of video on there, then I'll keep doing these because considering... You know, it's a bit of a change of pace rather than just showing the changes in the account and whatnot. You get to see the actual character in action and why I build my builds the way I do. Especially be considering on the double strike on there where it allows me to actually one-shoot the mobs rather than just, you know, bring them down to 75% health. It's a pretty important boost on there. If you're already one-shooting the mobs, don't don't boost up your double strike on there. It's not worth it. I don't think it's called Zeal, but I call it Zeal, considering it reminds me of Diablo 2 skill, Zeal. Ah, oh, the amount of times that skill got me killed on there, because you click once, realize it was a lightning a enchanted mob, but now you're stuck there for nine attacks, and you're just basically going to be looking at your health bar, knowing you're going to die soon. Yeah, good times, good times. So, I think this video has been rambly enough for the past bit on there, and I hope that you guys have been enjoying this. If you guys have, don't hesitate to give it a like, a subscribe, pass it on to your friends. If you didn't like it, pass it on to your enemies on there just out of spite. And also, I also started a little coffee shop in the link below where if you guys are enjoying this and want to help contribute to the channel on there, then don't hesitate to, you know, chuck a couple bucks and buy me a coffee on there. Don't feel obligated, but if you do, I'd be greatly appreciated. Or not appreciated, appreciative. So with that... I'll end the video here, so take care, everyone.